Virgo. Hi, Virgo. I'm also a Virgo, so it's good to have you here. I got a channel message for you for the week of July 11th through 17th. I'm B, by the way. Welcome to my channel, Sedaris LLC. So the message I got for you is kind of hilarious, actually. It started um, <laughs> as Virgalicious. I started here in Fergie. I'm Virgalicious. I'm hot, hot. <laughs> Virgalicious. I keep them boys on rock, rock. Except it's Virgalicious. Virgalicious. So maybe you're feeling really good, Virgo. We're going to see, though, because we're going to see first what you need to surrender this week. <laughs> It could be ego, but I honestly don't think so because we Virgos don't really brag like that. Virgos, we move in silence. And I've been saying that a lot today, but Virgos are truly like the hermit energy. We don't brag like that. We don't. We we just are. We show what we are. And, and then people think that we're being cocky, but we're not bragging. So maybe right now you're getting an energy of like, you know what? I am going to brag. Why not? Give it one more. What do Virgos need to surrender this week? All Virgo significant placements. What do Virgos need to release? No, yeah, yeah. What do they need to surrender this week? So maybe you do need to release something. Ah. Surrender procrastination. Surrender worry. So we're going to read surrender worry first. Make a commitment, Virgo, not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. Surrender procrastination. Now's the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. Okay, so there's something you need to move for. So I feel like what you need to do is is get in the energy of high self-esteem, get in the energy of that, not cockiness necessarily, but you need to have that confidence within yourself like Fergie. I'm Fergalicious, like you need to embody that. Surrender uh, to spirit at the bottom of the deck as well. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. So yeah, it's like surrender your stress, surrender worry, give it to the divine and get moving on what it is you want. So maybe you're stalling on something, Virgo, because you're not feeling confident about the outcome. You might be too attached to the outcome. I'm surprised that card didn't come out. But what I feel like is you need to really get into your confidence, get into your powerful energy. Do you have no shortage of, right? You need to access that. And if you're not feeling very confident, you might need to pamper yourself, do some meditation. Um, root chakra meditations are amazing if you're not feeling very confident, Virgo, so check out um, some root chakra meditations on YouTube. They might be helpful for you. Okay, let's see what else is going on. What advice do we need from the tarot regarding Virgo this week, July 11th through 17th? What's happening with Virgo? I saw the Ten of Swords really quick. Yeah, even the cards are stalling. So you must be in an energy of putting something off that you need to get done. Because you're not feeling the best about yourself. Hmm, Yeah. Eight of Cups. This could be you not walking away from something that you need to walk away from. Maybe you're thinking, Virgo, that you can't do any better. That's not true. Hmm. Yeah. Three of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck, so it could be something where you're working on a project with some people, and you're over it, and you're ready to walk away. So it looks like you're in that energy of, like, wanting to walk away. Yeah. There was a reading similar to this. I think it was Aries. The first reading I did today, because uh, the obstacle and you walking away, or the walking away reverse, so the reason that you're staying is this group dynamic. Maybe you're trying to please others. You're not, you're, yeah, there's something you're just not doing that you need to be doing, and it could be because you're thinking, you're making excuses. 
Oh, yeah. What is up? Wheel of Fortune reversed. I don't want to pull that out, but it showed itself. That's what's, at the, that's what's at the bottom of the deck. So there is a danger of the wheel turning negatively. You need to take charge of this situation, I feel. So let's see what else comes out. Because we don't want that for, not for my Virgos. What's happening, Holy Spirit? What's happening? What is the energy right now surrounding my Virgos? What's happening? Two of Cups reversed. Okay. It's a partnership that's not working out, Virgo. It's a partnership that you need to just kind of... Can you guys see? You need to walk away from this partnership is what I'm feeling. You're not walking away. You're stalling for some reason, maybe to please other people or because you're afraid of how it might affect someone else. You need to prioritize yourself, surrender your worry about that situation, and walk away because it's not a destined partnership. It's not a good partnership for you, Virgo, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. There's a new beginning you need to take. There's a leap you need to take, and I feel like you already know what it is. Because my Virgos are very in intuitive. I've heard us be called the Witch of the Zodiac. I am a witch, but I consider myself a very good witch. Um, but Virgo is a naturally intuitive sign. It's part of our sign. We're connected to the earth, and there's kind of a knowing with Virgo. This is your advice. Get to work, Virgo. I feel like you already know what this is, and you need to get after it. Get after it. You already know that this the situation that you're in is not what you want. Okay, and I feel like, yeah. You've already been in the Nine of Swords energy about it. So many reversals. I haven't had reversals like this all morning. And I've been doing the sign reading. So Virgo, you really need to, to listen to yourself, listen to your gut, and get out of the situation because it's causing you too much stress. Mm-hmm. It's causing you too much stress. You're still giving to a situation that you should be holding back from. You're still giving to it. Why are you doing that, Virgo? Why are you doing it, Virgo? Why? Are you caring for others more than yourself yet again, Virgo? It's time to prioritize yourself. Yeah. You've had time to think about this already. Maybe you need a little more time. Maybe you need to strategize the proper way out of the situation. But it's time you to do that because you've already been doing it for a while I think based on what I'm feeling what is the outcome if Virgo takes these steps needed to get out of the situation bam the Emperor the Emperor going towards something that's more fulfilling for you taking control of the situation this is the outcome if you step into your own power you have control enough to leave the situation, but you're stalling, maybe to please someone else. Are there any other messages that wanna come out for my Virgos? What messages need to come out for my Virgos for the week of July 11th to July 17th? I just thought of July 7th. Something may have happened on the 7th. Mm -hmm. Watch your other placements too, okay, you guys? Yeah, watch your other placements. Watch these other people because you can't trust them. You already know that you need to get out of the situation. Yeah. 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 I had set the cards upside down. You're not confused about it, okay? You're just stalling. This is a stalling energy. I'm surprised we haven't seen the hangman. You're stalling on taking the steps you need. You're waiting on something. I don't know if you're waiting on someone else to get you out of the situation or to save you. There's no one else that's gonna save you from this Virgo. You are powerful enough to save yourself. And my ears ringing as I say that. Get out. Save yourself. Make the choice. The situation that's not happy for you, don't choose to remain there. Mm -hmm. Oh look, the hangman reversed. You already know what you need to do. He's standing up right now. He's choosing to just be stuck right now. Don't be, this, don't be in this energy. I was gonna say, don't be this person. But this is an energy. So get out of this energy. You know, you've, you've had enough time to think about it, I feel. And you know that whatever this commitment is that you're in, this thing that you've been sticking around for whoever else, it's not for you. Hierophant reversed. It's not ideal. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You might need to watch the Taurus reading. But it's not ideal. 
Like maybe you thought it was gonna be a, a good situation. Could be a Gemini as well. Somebody on Taurus Gemini cusp, you thought it was gonna be a positive situation, but it's not. So don't stick around and self-sacrifice, okay? Stop doing that. Any final cards that wanna come out for the sign of Virgo for the week of July 11th through 17th? Aha, two of wands. Time to plan your next steps, Virgity Virg. Shout out to Val333 Tarot. Plan your next steps. You already know what to do, I feel. Mm -hmm. I saw the sign. You saw the sign, you've been seeing the signs and it's time for you to step out into the sun because when you actually pay attention to and listen to those signs that you've been given, you can't just say, oh, I saw 444 four, four, and then move on. Oh, I just saw 1010 10, and then move on. No, pay attention. When you see those signs and synchronicities, do the research, figure out what you're being told by your spirit team because they've already guided you. You're just, you're being, you're, you're being stubborn. Mm -hmm. Please watch the Taurus reading as well. Taurus and Aries, I feel. You might have both in your chart in some way. But Virgo, yes, it's time. Okay. Let's see what the oral has. Or the oral. Ooh. Sex? Some of y'all having sex? That's all right. I mean. <laughs> Let's see what the rebel deck has to say. What does, where did that come from? <laughs> Maybe you need to speak about something. Oral. <laughs> Maybe you're an orator. Maybe you need to be. Maybe there's something you need to say. Okay? Maybe you need to speak up and access your throat chakra. So what I'm going to do is recommend root and throat chakra meditations for you this week. Okay, Virgo? And maybe some sex. <laughs> okay. Whatever you're thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the fucking time. Ugh. This is what you keep telling yourself. This is what you keep telling yourself and it's causing you not to move. I think you've been stalling for a long time. Let's see what else comes out from the Rebel deck really quick. Yeah, because I think that you have, that's, that's what you've been, it's like somebody else around you is making you feel like you shouldn't move or you shouldn't be doing things to get out of this, whatever this is for you. Don't believe every shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be sneaky lying bastards, yeah. So you keep telling yourself, it's not the right time, it's not the right time, it's not the right time possibly, but that's just, that's like your ego. That's like, you're not thinking clearly. So I feel like there's a need for you to meditate as well. Meditate, and I say this, I think that's a great idea for you to get clear, get grounded and make decisions from a centered space. Speaking of which, yep, you need some yoga in your life. Ancient shit is cool. So think about taking a yoga class if, you, if you're if you near a gym. They might offer group classes. That's something to think about. Or just YouTube University, right? Pull up some YouTube videos um, about yoga, Pilates, things like that. And, and also those meditations. Get into that this week, okay, Virgo? Last but not least, I'm going to pull a love oracle for you. Because this could do with matters of the heart as well. It, I feel like it's like a group work situation. But also it could be... It could just be a, a sour relationship that just doesn't belong anymore. You know that you guys are interested in other people. But for some reason you're still with that person. Let's just see what the love oracle has to say. These are like the Dorian Virtue Romance Angel cards. I say like because I got them off Amazon and I doubt that they're the original, but they do the job. So let's see. What does the Virgo Collective need to know? I feel like y'all are sexually frustrated. Some of you anyway. <laughs> you might need to just, you know, let loose a little bit. What is this? Mm, yep, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Those romantic feelings have been stirred. So maybe you're having some wild, wild thoughts. Wild, wild, wild. Yeah. Maybe that's help, helping to make you realize that you need to get out of what situation you're currently in that you're not moving from. Let's see. I'm also feeling like you need to not be so quick to judge people in romantic situations, Virgo. Give them a chance, okay? Oh. 
past life relationship you have known each other before so this will be someone completely new this won't be anyone from the past this will be someone that you're meeting for the first time and pay attention to the red flags is here but it came out reverse so i feel yeah don't be judgmental i mean be cautious and be smart which virgos are naturally anyway but there's a need for you to kind of just let someone else show that they might be a good match for you don't just write them off okay Mm, yeah. See any other romance oracles that want to come out for Virgo for July 11 through 17? Yeah, maybe you have a date or something coming up too. Maybe it's you walking away from, for some of you, it could be walking away from feeling like you're never going to have a good relationship. Get out of that mindset, okay? Any other cards that want to come out for Virgo? Doesn't seem like there's anything else that's going to come out from the Love Oracle, you guys. Oh, and there it is. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So it came out reverse. I feel like that's what you're not doing. You're not walking away from past pain for a lot of you. You're not walking away from past experiences where there was a third party situation where somebody hurt you. And that's just what you feel is your life now. And you're just watching other people date and live their lives and you're not participating, but it's time for you to participate in your life. Forgive yourself and forgive the past. Move past it. Doesn't mean you have to reconcile with anyone because I feel like there's something brand new headed your way. So get open, get into a space where you're ready to receive that. Okay, Virgo? Yep, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So there is something coming for you, okay? Don't be afraid to step into it. Walk away from negative mindsets. Walk away from anything that's stale in your life that just doesn't fit for you anymore. Walk into the sunlight. All right, my beautiful Virgos, I will see you next time. Check back for your other placements and also please come back for the daily reads, all right? Love you. Bye.